Hi everyone, hi friends, welcome back. This is Christy from Quest for Insights and Motivations. Thank you for tuning in and I'm glad you're here. I'm going to share a story that just happened to me recently. So if you're ready, um, prepare your pillow because you might sleep because this is a story, <laughs> a short story of what happened last Sunday about losing my phone or misplacing my phone. I really don't know the right term, but I'll just use the, the losing first and then maybe the next one is misplaced. Um, but before that, have you ever experienced losing your phone and then the emotion or the feeling of panic wherever i usually feel that in like i usually put it in my bag and then if i cannot uh, find it in the other packet i start to uh, be nervous on where did i put that and then i will find in another packet oh i then i can see it's in another packet of my bag but Many times I feel that kind of panic in my feeling, panic feeling. Um, I thought it's in my bag. I Then when I look it in my bag, it's in my pocket. Or I thought it's in my pocket. Then when I look in my pocket, it's not there. It's in my bag or in another pocket of my bag. So many times I usually feel that kind of feeling. And my story started... Uh, last Sunday, and then uh, I usually use my phone to to take notes for the message because you know in our modern modern generation, but still there are, they still recommend you using ball pen notebook while taking down. So it depends as long as. Uh, you take down if you want to take down the message. But for me, I use my phone and usually I use my phone in taking notes uh, on Sundays. And the last thing that I remember during that time was uh, I, when the message ended, I put it down on my chair behind or beside my bag. And that's the last thing that I remember. So I really don't know if I put it inside my bag or I left it on the chair. Because when we left the church, I just uh, picked up my bag on the pick up my bag on the chair and uh, left the church. So when I came home, I tried to find my phone in my bag, and I keep on looking, turning it all over but it's not it's gone so i borrowed my daughter's phone and and chat my my nephew my niece and my sister-in-law uh, i'll try to call them to please see uh, my phone i left it on the chair in the church try to find it blah 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 all over and then my nephew responded, um, it's not there. And my other, my niece responded, auntie, it's not there. I look all over, it's not there. <clears throat> and I said, how come it's not there? I just left it on the chair. And I knew, I know I left it there because that's the last thing that I can remember. And... So I started to chat the in our church group chat. I started to say, uh, what will I say? So I, I started to compose the message that I will be. So I said, uh, I left my phone in there for whoever saw it or accidentally got it, please. Um, it's a block that has crack on it, something like that. And... They said they try to call or try to. Um, so they started to, oh, whoever got her phone, like that. But no one and no one responded yet. 
And I said to my daughter after maybe two hours, something like that, or I said to my daughter, let's share your phone already because I lost or I don't have my phone anymore, so let's share with your phone. And then when she went inside and she saw it in the another chair, oh, here's your phone. And oh my goodness, <sighs> I don't know how, what will I feel because I don't know what, uh, my imagination is, uh, only is that I left it in the church or I never imagined that I put it in my bag or and I even say did you hide it I told her did you hide but she said she didn't hide it and yeah I don't know of course I'm happy and I'm thankful I have my phone but the the things that i learned from that experience is that uh you learn i learned to uh because when when i'm having i'm chatting like that i started to say i need to buy another phone um my number my my all those things the apps that i have so um but of course i'm saying i i'm telling my my daughter i'm sad i don't have my phone anymore and she's saying that oh don't be sad mommy uh, i know she doesn't understand much but she says don't be sad and yeah what i learned okay so yeah i just want to share really that experience because it's um it's a mix i don't know how i feel but of course i learned a lot um first that i learned learn to be honest with how you feel i i said i i, I accepted that i'm sad i i really want not to hide that i'm sad i'm losing my phone i know that <laughs> that is just a phone <laughs> Uh, we always say that uh, don't be focused too much on things that we have, but it's really saddening when you lose your phone, especially that that is already uh, just two years, I think, two years old phone, more than two years old phone, of course, but I've installed things that I'm using, um, the numbers that I have. So I'm imagining again, I need to, to get another authorization or authentic from the lawyer to, to, to get back my the same number. And then I'll need to go to Globe Center again to just to file for having the same number. So I try to imagine beyond what will happen again upon losing my phone. So I know you can relate if you ever experience losing something, maybe not phone or uh, maybe some things that you value. Uh, I know you can relate with how I feel. And then, yeah, first, be honest with how you feel. Second, accept the possibilities of what will happen if it will be lost, really, or uh, if it's gone, what could you, what will you do? for 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 what will for what had happened of losing that uh, thing or that phone so i try to accept already na um i need to start over again i will do this and do that again so yeah accept the possibilities but of course you need to trust god trust god with um that things will happen for a reason so i'm trying to accept already or to trust god that um maybe because i'm trying to uh wanting or wishing for another phone or a new phone that's why uh, that's why i had this experience for me to know the value of having that phone because um 
is still working. So you need to value that and, of course, to trust God for what will happen. So I'm trying to do that. And the last one is you'll never know how God works in mysterious ways. Because my mind is just limited with, with, with thinking that I left it in the church with, 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 on the chair. I never imagined or I never thought that it would be inside my bag and my daughter would just show it to me. Mommy, is here your phone. I never imagined that. So sometimes we limit the, the things to happen with this, with the limitation of my mind that this is the one I know and this is the one that I saw and this is it. So sometimes, uh, yeah, that's why I pray, Lord, my mind is so limited, but you are not limited with all the things that you can do beyond. And yeah. Some also some things also learn not to imagine too much or blame, avoid blaming. So I also try to imagine who was the last one, who are the people near my chair, who could have fixed the chair, who I try to imagine. Or I also try to say to my daughter, did you hide it? Uh, to try to blame other people. So avoid blaming other people because it doesn't help with with that with with the situation okay so yeah that is just my story i want to share about losing my phone what i learned how i feel and i know some of you can connect can understand how i feel i know we all mostly experience losing something Maybe it's worse, uh, but maybe it's better also. But I just wanted to share and just to share because it blessed me in that I learned something with that situation. And I want to relate it with, uh, with the previous video that I shared about having a thankful spirit, a record. Maybe this is a record that I want to remember how God uh teaches me to to learn some things in those in this situation and another thing that i learned also i'm trying to calm myself i i'm trying not to panic because i wanted to go back and find it myself because i cannot believe my nephew my niece and my sister-in-law that it's not there so it's, it's like I want to find it by myself. Maybe I'll be able to be the one to find it. But I tried to. They were not able to find it. So it's not there. So, and yeah, after a few minutes, that's the time that my daughter found it on another chair. So I praise God for everything he has done for. He is good. His love endures forever. Thank you for listening. Thank you for having me. I'm happy to be here and I hope you are happy you are there. See you next time and see you in the next videos that are coming up. Have a blessed day.